Hey, yeah, and welcome back to my channel. Halloween is inching closer and closer, and you know what that means. Another episode of Who Done It in Granite. God, that's cheesy. <laughs> Anyways, since this is a mini series, this episode will actually feature two eliminations over two days. Gotta cover as much as we can before Halloween hits. Well, enjoy the show. What happened in episode 1? Well, first I introduce the cast and the cabin, and out of nowhere, freaking Emily shows up, and not even 5 minutes later, she dies. Crushed by a piano. But that also means the game has begun. The campers were tested on their woodworking skills and journaling the events of the day, and the results? Josie was the best detective of the day, while one of Kariv and Bloodworth is marked for death. Who will perish? We'll find out now. A lot of reactions at the table after hearing the results. Victor is still scared AF despite being saved. <laughs> this game just got real really quick. Well, I guess you can always count on Victor to run away. <laughs> Karif is going to bed now and he's in quite good spirits. Honestly, even Bloodworth looks not worried. He's still walking weird but he's smiling? Can you go with Farfase? Huh, Nilshaba! Tell the Rimple. Tasha is the last one to sleep tonight. I realized she couldn't get to her room because the new fan I put there is blocking her door, so yeah, my bad. And it's morning! Oh, I'm so nervous. Yep, they're all awake. Is Bloodwolf alive? Oh, Bloodwolf is alive! <gasps> Oh, oh hey, everyone's heading downstairs now. Is Karif alive? <gasps> hey, looky here, the sexy hunk is making his way downtown. Well, uh, I guess we can appreciate their sleepwear here. A lot of robes, and these are classy women. Oh, 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 hold on a damn minute. Wait a second, Bloodworth. Who made all this food? Oh my god, this chicken looks amazing. <laughs> I'm hungry now. Okay, whoever did this set the table to... Uh, maybe this is a feast for surviving day one? Well, let's eat! Everyone's getting some food now to chomp away. Wow, this is such a great treat. All the campers are like, Mmm, -mm, this smells great! Okay, Bloodworth, what is wrong? Ah, Mibs Bakumba Ganache. Tasha is excited, meanwhile. She's refreshed and kickstarting the conversation. Josie finished her meal and she's about to peace out. Oh, Bloodworth? You haven't finished your chicken. <gasps> Bloodworth! <gasps> he's gonna puke! Oh my god, wait. <gasps> he has green spots. Oh, 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 he's dead. <laughs> oh my gosh, is it the chicken? <gasps> Was it poisoned? Oh my god, Grim is already there in the corner. <laughs> Nyana and Josie are both being shocked, but Victor... I've never seen anyone so confused. <laughs> Tasha! <laughs> no, no, not the time! Oh, Bloodworth, our first victim. Who could do such a thing? That also means that Karif is officially off the hook, at least for today. Another day, another victim for Grim to claim. Hurry it up, Grim. We have a mystery to solve when you're done. Thank you, Grim. Always happy to see you work. Oh, Josie is celebrating? Hmm. You're a little too happy at someone's death, woman. Well, time to do the official business. A first kill is always a party starter. After the little wake, Daria and Josie retreat to their little book club. Daria is looking very stressed. <laughs> Oh, Karif is looking a little angry. <gasps> and Raymond comes to join the club. Where did he go? Uh -huh. Oh, this man is flirty. Stop. <laughs> Tasha is talking to Victor. Oh, an unlikely friendship. Okay, Victor, I'm going to need you to calm down. Poor Victor. <laughs> I feel like the campers are like taking turns trying to keep him in check. And right now it's Josie's turn, playing chess with the little boy. Raymond! Raymond! Oh my god, you did not. <laughs> Raymond's really flirty right now, so Daria better watch out for his advances. Although I think he already tried once. Oh my god, Josie's sad now! From jealousy! Ooh, seeing Raymond and Daria in love may have set something off in her. Hmm. 
Well, jealousy or not, here I come with the cabin challenge! So, I deduced that today's murder had to have come from the roast chicken, cause that's the last thing that Bloodworth ate before he perished from poison. So, to test out who had the skills to kill, I'm putting you through Hell's Kitchen essentially. You will make me three dishes, vegetable dumplings, Yorkshire pudding, and pond de queijo, a Brazilian cheese bread. You will be judged based on your speed, but bonus points come in the quality of your food. Alright, the campers are ready, and yeah, I added like a space more so they can move around a little more. But let's start! The campers are beginning to cook their food. Oh god, I can hear the sound of my budget sleeping away. Why is Nyana the only one that's chopping something? <laughs> the rest of the mixers are mixing away, and they'll continue whenever simulation lag moves them along. Daria is singing to the sky. Ooh, look at that! <gasps> that looks so yummy! Oh my god! Half the campers have already finished their first dish, and they're starting on their second. Uh, Josie is trying to like cook halfway and finish later tactic. Nyana is mixing, but why is she looking a little stressed? Josie has done all her prep and she's putting her first dish in. Meanwhile, everybody's like on their second dish and beyond. Ooh, Tasha's finished too, and she's beginning the third and final dish! Victor too! Victor is secretly good at a lot of things, I think. Oh my gosh, everybody's so close! It's just the waiting game now for the final dish. Josie finishes her second dish, but Daria grabs her third and final one! Ooh, Raymond finishes just seconds behind Daria. Tasha has her last dish and finishes in third. Karif and Victor also have their last one. Oh, and Diana finishes as well. <gasps> Sorry, Josie, your little gamble did not pay off. You are the last one to finish this challenge. But have no fear, there's still bonus points for the quality, which I will assess right now. Starting with Diana. Excellent, excellent, and excellent! Wow, Diana, you haven't lost touch. Let's check in with Victor. Three excellent. Victor, do you have something to say? Uh, 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 uh. Tasha got normal for all her food, and so did Daria. Karif got excellent for the Yorkshire pudding, but normal for the other two. At least he loves his pudding. Raymond has three normal dishes as well. And Josie, excellent. Oh, three excellents. That's great, Josie. That should help you mitigate some of the points you lost because of your tactic. Alright, uh, I have what I need. You may return to the cabin. This guy. Aha! I knew this chicken was rotten! Oh wait, everything's rotting. <laughs> Victoria is like hiding in the covers. What on earth do we do about this man? <gasps> Karif is now yelling at Josie! This man is paranoid. Oh hey Victor, ready to join civilization finally? I wouldn't say he's particularly successful though. Josie absolutely hated that. <laughs> Oh, poor Victor. He's gonna think about this for the next 10 years. Now he's absolutely panicking. <laughs> Tasha's looking at the sky like, so help me God. On the other hand, Raymond's here with his best friend, the bubble machine. And yeah, Daria's also here. <laughs> Daria is always too stressed out in this game. These young ones are so, so emotional. I love it. Karif comes to join the bubble gang. He's like, at least the people here are sane. Oh, never mind. He's still unhappy. <laughs> oh, Daria! Why are you yelling at Nyana? Oh, this is so chaotic right now. Wabarani <laughs> At least Dara and Tasha can bond together over their disdain for the other campers in this house. Or not. Aww, Josie's stress cooking for the house now to prove that she's not a bad cook at all. The level 10? That's not, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Victor be like, hi, uh, let me read you this apology story real quick. <laughs> ding ding ding, it's time for the journal test. Oh, everybody's changing into winter wear. Is it that cold? Wow, it is. <laughs> well, you all look fantastic in your winter wear. So stylish, so trendy. 
Oh, Daria is excited. She's ready for tonight. And she looks amazing in that outfit. Okay, you've done this yesterday, so I don't need to explain too much. Join the events of today and guess the killer at the end, and you may just get bonus points. Okay, go! Let's see what emotions our campers will display in their riding today. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, uh, as usual, a lot. <laughs> Karif survived today's kill, but can he repeat that for tomorrow? Arbenduba. Victor is very seriously working on this journal while Dara is non stop being excitable in front of him. <laughs> Diana's also very excited. Is she confident with her guess? <laughs> Raymond is very focused as usual. Ooh, he also has an idea. Singula Yamishka Ishinor Nayap Koiba. Josie is very focused on this task. <laughs> if she doesn't get it, she'll most likely be scared tonight. Meanwhile, Tasha is laughing away. Karif is being embarrassed and confused. <laughs> Raymond is also laughing away. Anytime now. Oh, Victor finishes first. <gasps> Followed by Raymond close behind. Karif is also done. Oh, Josie finished fourth, middle of the pack. Daria is fifth, followed by Tasha. And that means Nyana is last, last. And she's beating herself up over it. <laughs> Have no fear, your fate in this game merely resides on these little cubes on the dining table. So, another great day of sleuthing. The killer has revealed your progress and your fate is in these cubes in front of you. As a reminder, green means safe, rainbow means you're the best, and red means you have a 50-50 chance of being doomed. Ready? Reveal! Oh my goodness! <gasps> so, uh, yeah, Dara is so proud of herself. <laughs> Dara performed the best today out of all of you campers. Great job, Daria. Seems like Tasha, Raymond, Karif, and Victor are all safe. And our queens from two ends of the table are in danger. We have Nyana in the red and also Josie who was our top performer yeah. yesterday. Is she going from top to bottom? Well, we will find out tomorrow. Well, that was fun. Have a good night, I guess. Wait, where are they going? Oh, they're grabbing some fruit. Food that was graciously made by our dear Josie. Surely that's enough reason to keep her, right? Killer? Everybody's having supper while Josie is still failing Don't Wake the Llama against her imaginary friends. Like, who casually practices Jenga? Aw, oh, stop, I'll cry. The two scared girls are talking to each other like it's their last day together. Raven's just listening and chilling in the background. He is so suspicious, I swear. Upstairs, Daria and Tasha are having a little discussion. Whatever could they be plotting? Hmm. And that's the end of day two. Karif can finally sleep in peace knowing that he's not in danger. On to day three. Don't click away just yet. It is the morning and let's see. Looks like most of our campers are still asleep. Yep, sleeping soundly. Oh, wait a sec. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Blood Wolf is dead. I forgot. <laughs> Oh, Nyana's still here! Where's Josie? Josie? Th this is her bed, right? Josie? Where's Josie? Hold on. <gasps> is that Grim? <laughs> oh my god! Josie! Josie, no! Wee woo, wee woo, wake up everybody! We have our newest victim! Meet me downstairs, now! Oh, poor Josie. Did she like fall from the second story window? This barbecue grill looks a little rough though. Is it burnt? <gasps> She's feeling confident though, I'll give her that. <laughs> Aha! Death by fire! Hmm, somebody here must have lit the grill on fire or something. Poor Josie, she probably just wanted to make everybody a meal or something. You posers! R.I.P. Josie, you will be missed. Our top performer day one went just like that. Where in the world have you two been? Not a good look for either of you. <laughs> Look at Diana, she's crying so hard at her fellow scared sister. Stop! <laughs> Not Karif using the same girl that killed Josie to cook! The freaking shade. Alright, let's do the B-roll. <laughs> Don't rest in pieces, the shade of this freaking game! Crispy... crime? I guess? 
Yeah. We will avenge you by solving this mystery, Josie. Victor immediately runs away to hide under the covers, as usual. And Raymond continues to flirt with his best bud, Karif. I'm gonna head cannon this man as like pansexual or something. Nayana seems to be in good spirits that she survived. Tasha, on the other hand, is upset. My gosh, not even this little snake can cheer her up. Grim? Grim! <laughs> <laughs> this is above your pay grade! You don't have to clean for me! Oh my god, I'm flattered. <laughs> He's really like, if I'm gonna be called up here every two seconds, I might as well stay and do some stuff. <laughs> Goodbye, Grim! Victor is trying so hard to make friends, but I think Tasha is a little bit too sad right now. That's okay, Victor. You have your best pal, Daria, to cheer you up. She gets your humor, I think. Sequinario, Ulak, Akroba. Spliff Kinar, Pando Chris, no. Raymond continues to chill at the bubble machine. Maybe that's why he's so calm throughout the show. He must be, ha I mean, dazed as F. Oh, Daria? Daria's yelling at Tasha. Oh my goodness, what was that? Skiba Glosh, Waboos, Snavy Gobi, Zerf, Kempel Veruda, Nuloy Sawata. All right, no more fighting. The real competition happens right now at the cabin challenge. So I deduce that. Okay, Niana, you don't have to flaunt your loyalty. <laughs> you need it, Tasha. Loyalty is nothing in this game of who done it. Anyway, I concluded that someone who caused Josie's death must be pretty good at lighting fires to set the grill and Josie on fire. So today we're doing just that. You will light a series of fires and then head back to your seat. The fastest to finish must surely be the one who is adept enough to light poor Josie and Mr. Grill on fire. So, be my guest. Okay, now that we are all seated, let's begin the challenge, shall we? Five, six, seven, eight. Da, 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 da. Ooh, Tasha burns herself right out of the gate. Oh my gosh, Nayana and Daria too. The men are slaying this challenge. Oof, Victor just bites the dust and gets slowed down. Karif is freaking running. <laughs> he wants to win this challenge so bad. Wow, this is not the ladies' day. Skiba, you move. <laughs> Sorbent nerds. <laughs> Karif and Ray finished in first and second, and Victor finishes third. <laughs> Tasha is angry. Daria's fourth, Tasha's fifth, and Nyana gets last place. Again. Not looking good for Nyana. Well, uh, that was a quick and fun challenge. I will relay your results to the killer. Oh wait, one of you is the killer! <laughs> See you back at the cabin. Lots of varying emotions as our campers return to the cabin. I mean, Raymond instantly goes to the bubble machine. Again. <laughs> I swear, this man is addicted to that thing. <coughs> Oop, didn't nail it that time. Tasha begins to jog out her anger for performing mediocre at yet another challenge. I bet she doesn't like losing. Karif and Nayana chat outside the entrance, possibly making an alliance? Wait, can you even make alliances in games like this? <laughs> I'm too used to CBS shows. Oh, Victor, stressed all the time, even when you're playing Don't Wake the Llama. Oh, drama? Dara's yelling at Karif? Oh, Tasha! Oh, she's yelling at Karif too! <gasps> what is happening? What did you do, Karif? Tasha decides to defuse her anger by mentoring Raymond on his treadmill form. <laughs> I mean, my man looks good either way, so... Victor and Nyana are back again with the chess. And Nyana's schooling Victor on some loyalty today. <laughs> I swear, this new loyal trait is doing too much. Nyana's perky trait is definitely at play here too. She's almost like, too happy. Victor is terrified. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, jar, 
Well, Raymond and Tasha have certainly bonded from the little mentor section. I really didn't think Raymond was going to be the most sociable person in the house, but he is. He's not been accused so far. And now he's probably just trying to mend Karif and Tasha's strained relationship. Meanwhile, the two besties are working together, piecing their notes together to see if they can identify the killer together. Crying geeks unite! Uchima Golarga Slonkim? Find that good boy. Snubara. Dubna Timfi. Watanini Jock. Tasha, did, did you really have to bring coffee to a freaking exam? <laughs> Oh my god. Raven? He's resident from using the bubble blower? I hate that. Stop! <laughs> Alright, you know the drill. Guess the events of the murder and guess the killer. Begin. Karif already has some good ideas. Oh, even Victor's confident tonight. Many more strong emotions all across the board again. Oh, Nyana is crying. Poor lady, she's too pure for this game. <laughs> Tasha here is laughing a little bit too much. <laughs> Interesting choices here. Uh, what witchery is this? Karif is not holding back his tears of joy either for whatever reason. Okay, a lot of celebrations here. And Raymond continues to be very calm, very focused. Okay, please don't talk for the remainder of this time. <laughs> the night is coming to an end. Who will finish the journaling test first? Raymond! Wow, he's done amazing today. Oh, Nyana and Victor both finished at the same time. Huh, uh, I guess they're tied for second place. Tasha finished next in fourth, and then Karif in fifth. Tough luck, Dara finished in last place. She doesn't look too upset though. Uchima Golarga Slonkim? Find that Kapoi. Snubara, Dub Natimfi, Watanini Chok. Good job on another great day of sleuthing. Your results will await you back at the cabin. Daria, seriously? Who drinks coffee at 9 p.m.? Couldn't be me at least. <laughs> well, campers, the killer has assessed your theories and have given you the results in this little ice cube thing. I'm so excited. Let's see who did the best and which two campers will be scared to death today. Reveal! Oh! Oh, 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 hold on a damn minute. Three scared stones? <gasps> Diana, Tasha, and Daria all got the red stones. Oh my god. Not very feminist of you, killer. <laughs> I'm kidding. But seriously, three stones? What does that mean? The killer's really shaking up the game here. Mr. Deep Voice Raymond got top performer of the day, and Karif and Victor are both safe. This is very interesting. An interesting result indeed. Sadly, we'll have to wait to find out what happens in the next episode. In the mini season finale! You know, sometimes trying to keep it fair is very hard, but I had to. <laughs> Three of the women left got scared. Gosh, I can't imagine what's gonna happen next. Pop in your guesses below who you think will die in the next episode, who you think is the killer, and who will win. I'm intrigued to see if this episode has provided you any clues. As always, drop me a like if you enjoyed that video, and I hope you're having fun with this mini series so far. Have a great, great Halloween weekend, whatever you're doing, and be sure to party safe and hydrate. Or cozy up with a few horror movies if you're like me. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and see you next time.